thing is, the thing we're going to talk about TikToker and content creator Baba Talisha. Now, first of all, this man is very good looking. Now, I never used to see it until a girl came on TikTok and claimed him by force. She just came and said, hey, listen, what are we doing? We've been friends for a hot minute. It's always jokes, jokes, jokes. What, do you, what are your intentions with me? And she claimed him very fast and even said how she just, she just wants to, to raise uh, Talisha together. They're going to be a family. And I was like, wow, the guts, eh? the guts and simping. But this time he's talking about a very tragic story. Now, in 2020, he was still in his fourth year of university and he had his young family going on. He had his young 22-year-old wife and he was a photographer. He's still a photographer. He does videos and everything content creation you'll see him collaborate with a lot of artists with a lot of content creators especially on tiktok that's the main medium he uses so in 2020 after a photography assignment and on their way back they were in a very tragic accident and this tragic accident actually uh, took the life of his wife and his baby baby talisha was in a very severe condition she was rushed to hospital and at that time she was still a baby this is three years ago she was still very young went to hospital and the damage was extensive because she had to relearn motor skills like walking, holding things. And we have seen him all through the journey. I remember like seeing the, like the initial journey because he documented the whole thing, him taking her to therapy, and you could just see how heartbreaking it was for him. And I think that's uh, how most of us actually know him. Um, Fast forward, she has been making good progress. She's actually in school enrolled. She is walking, she is walking, she is happy, she is healthy. And he is doing such an amazing job raising this young, beautiful girl. And we're just proud of him. However, recently he came on TikTok with very sad news telling us about a recent diagnosis on baby Talisha. And he said that... Um, uh, he, he actually went to hospital and he said, today I am so heartbroken. I just found out that my daughter could only see me with one eye. One of her brain nerves for sight was tampered with. I just did not expect it. It is so point painful walking with her knowing that my little girl and then he didn't finish this uh, the statement and it's just so heartbreaking to see him you know in this sad state in this very depressive state given how we have witnessed the journey. It, it has been on a, an upward trajectory. They've been so happy. Or rather, what they've been showing us has just been positivity. Even through the hardship, he has always been very positive about everything. We have seen him pick his life up from the worst thing that could ever happen to you. Imagine your wife dying, leaving you with this very young child, and now it's hospital for years. And even when he's, he has all this going on in his life, he always has time to help people out. Let's not forget that Baba Talisha is the same person who was actually helping out Brian Chira. When Chira was going through the ghetto, Baba Talisha would even go to Chira's house and wash and clean Chira's house just because of who he is as a person. We have seen him come through for everyone. Anyone who has a problem, you'll always find Baba Talisha always offering a solution, or always helping somebody out, always driving Chira to hospital and check up, buying him food. So we have just seen that good side of him. And it's so heartbreaking to see him so broken. And I just uh, sending love and light to you, basically. Yeah, it's never, it's never an easy thing seeing you. I mean, seeing your child suffering, you know, like you, you, you have the best of hopes for them, hopes and dreams for the journey that is to come for them. So obviously when you see something this tragic happening after another tragic thing happened, it is, I don't know, it, it can be very, it can, it can really put you in a bad space. Mm -hmm. And so I hope that this positivity and the love and the light that he has been not only showing us, but showing his daughter continues to be the same. Uh, obviously he has a lot of love to give and we hope that at some point the universe can reward him like surely you know like sometimes the universe feels like it's piling on you know it's like yeah you have this one horrible thing happen and then they're like here's another mm. and here's another i hope that the universe lets up and lets him actually get a break um brain damage for a child is is, is crazy 
you can imagine having to teach your child and, and also just not knowing the extent that this is going to go through as you are trying to re uh, teach them how to do all of these things you're not certain whether it's going to stick or whether they're going to there's going to be more die. like it is a scary position to be in as a parent let alone as a human being so we hope that him and talisha ashley do get a break and that they are okay and that they remain healthy and safe um yeah